What's up, guys? Back with another educational video. And this week, we're talking about a study that looked at training fasted versus training fed in people practicing Ramadan. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. You guys know the drill. Leave a comment for the algorithm. This study was looking at people practicing Ramadan, which is the religious practice of fasting during the day and only eating at night for people who are practicing Muslims. They were looking at during the course of Ramadan, if people train fasted versus trained fed, are there differences in muscle mass, strength, hormones. And this was a pretty nicely designed study because between the fasting and the fed group, there was no difference in calorie intake. There was no difference in protein, carbohydrates, and fats. They did a good job of standardizing everything. And they were all following the same resistance training program. But one group was training in the afternoon, fasted. The other group was training at about 9 p.m., about 90 minutes after the sun set. And so they had a chance to get in a meal before they went to train. Now, what did they find at the end of this experiment? Well, they didn't really find any differences in how much body fat the participants lost or how much lean mass they accrued. Those were all basically the same. But they did find differences in one rep maxes for squat and deadlift. People in the fasting group had small increases in their squat and deadlift, but people in the fed group had significantly greater increases in their squat and deadlift. Bench press was similar between groups. There was no statistical difference. And also they saw an increase in testosterone only in the fed group, and they saw an increase in cortisol that was greater in the fasted group. Now, what does all this mean? It means that if you're going to do some kind of fasting-based diet, it probably makes sense to train in the non-fasted state if you can. There are a couple studies out there that looked at like 16-8 intermittent fasting with resistance training, showing that they produce similar gains in hypertrophy as regular diets that were not fasting-based. But the caveat to that and these studies were from Grant Tinsley, is that they had people eat at least three high-protein meals during their feeding window, and they had them train during their feeding window. If you are going to practice some sort of fasting, if you can train in a fed state, it's possible that that's better for strength. Maybe it doesn't matter for muscle hypertrophy, but it appears to be better for strength. Now, one caveat to this is they were having the fasting group train in the afternoon. Could the results have been different if they were training in the morning? It's possible, and here's why. Because they're consuming all of their food during the evening. Perhaps they would have been more fueled for that training session if they were training in the morning. It's hard to know. We don't have that data. I think certainly this suggests that being fed is more conducive to an anabolic environment and building strength compared to a fasted state. But again, it's going to take more research to elucidate whether or not it is specific to fasting or if it's more based on the fact that they've been fasting for a really long time before they got to training. Now, if you have trouble navigating all this stuff, getting expert coaching can be a huge benefit to take the guesswork out of this stuff. So, our expert coaches at Team BioLane can help remove a lot of the guesswork for you. I definitely recommend checking them out. You can click the link in the description and I will catch you guys next week.